Skip, Connor Brass 2, made out of Libra, don't care. Mm. But the artwork seems stupid. <laughs> the artwork seems stupid. Uh, mono, monocular Tiger. Monocular Tiger. This yep. is the same effect as the Binoculars Tiger. So, Skip. Yep. It gets Power Blast 4000 at the end of turn. But it attacks only, uh, so that's uh, the downside of it. Mm, true. Uh, negator, you guys should know. Negator, but skip. but I, I I want to ask you guys something. Uh, how is this ship is how is this ship gonna negate and Aya, attack? The ula, the yeah. enough, man. Tell me in the comments below, man. How is this ship puny ship gonna negate any attack? Using the ula. Okay, this is another card that I want to talk about because not a lot of people like this a lot. Can but uh, in my opinion, this card is a really awesome card. So it's a pale moon, then K. Choose one of your grade 3 or greater pale moon rear guard and put it into soul. When this unit's drive check reveals a grade 3 pale moon, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one pale moon from your soul and place it to an open rear guard. Okay, the thing about this card is it is a free stand trigger and it didn't say you cannot uh take out the grade 3 again, which means you can take it out again. Which is stand trigger obviously, but you can actually take out some cards that is required to come out from soul and then use those effect one like maybe, but it's quite stupid lah if you take out those like trapezes or something. Maybe you can like you know you drive check grade three the one attack really put into soul, trapezes put at the side rear guard that don't have boost if you don't have boost lah, and then trapezes effect put the rear guard, put the rest rear guard behind one, into the soul. And then take out the great tree again, which is you can have an extra two attacks, which is very good, obviously. No, I got my own opinion. Uh, for the first effect, right? Let's say, yeah. uh, for example, like attack. How many great tree will you usually play? Yeah. Um. Okay. F actually, for this uh drive check great tree or greater pale moon, I mean like uh cut right. I would actually prefer playing uh more than eight, like eight to nine, cause I don't really like. The fact that playing seven great trees is actually good enough. Cause, let's just say if this this card, uh, for sure you need more than seven. Because let's just say you have this on your vanguard already, which means six, uh, great trees left. You need a great tree or higher rear guard. So that means you need a great tree rear guard too. So it means it reduces your great tree in your deck into five. So if you take five divided by fifty, if I'm not wrong, or forty eight, that means it really reduces the the times that you can drive check the great tree and pale moon is not a deck that can always suffer you know they can't always suffer that's the thing so if you really them sway right and then your great tree all below right this card is actually very useless so you need to play like yeah at least eight to nine that's my opinion for this card and the second effect, I haven't talked about it, is when this unit is boosted by a pale moon, this unit gets power plus 3000 until end of the battle, which is... Nothing much uh. Yeah, uh, I think what's that? Uh? Um, 21. Uh. Dudley Emperor. Or something. Dudley. The same effect of Dudley Emperor. And uh, the General Save It, yep. The Seafood Boy. Yeah, uh, I still prefer General Save It. <laughs> so you can skip it has SP! Okay, SP. this is the Fire Breathing Carry. <laughs> uh, the what? Uh? Libra, okay? Okay, so Pikabu is really an no, no, interesting no, no. card. Like this. Pikabu. Yeah, Pikabu. Okay, so this is a really interesting card. This when I saw this card's effect, I was shocked. It was it was really interesting. Mm, the face totally yeah. changed. So plus one at the beginning of your main phase, if you have a pale moon vanguard, you may pay the cost. If you do place this, you need to rear guard. Um, a thing came to my mind when I heard this. So you will have a free attacker. When you don't need to waste your hand. So, your hand size will be very big. Do you remember the playstyle where people are playing the Commander Laurel and they just don't care? They just use Vanguard and attack, 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 attack to increase their hand size. Just, you know, they stand and draw right and then attack only. Because Commander Laurel. This actually can be another another thing to take note of. If you have this card in your soul, uh, two of these. You don't need to waste your hand, actually. You can just so blast to call these two out, so charge them back. So ch then you can so blast to call them out and then so charge them back at the end of the turn. Yeah, and the and at the beginning of your end phase, you have to place this card back into your soul. That's a bad thing. You can't intercept, but still very good. And uh, but you don't need to waste your hand. That is the main thing. No, it's it's actually a good thing also. You know, D O T E right? Yeah. They always target. They always target your rear guards. 
So yeah. at the beginning of the M phase, then you they go back to so right. DOT will not yeah. be able to fit on your red guts. Yeah, and another thing is, do you know the thunder break or something or what? Thunder break dragon. Not thunder break. And another one, the in the booster one. Booster. The 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 another one, Narukami dragon. Another uh, uh, oh oh that one, uh, what do you call that? Yeah, name? I actually forgot uh, the name. Ah, uh, Vamilan. Yeah yeah, Vamilan. Okay. What is his effect? His effect is actually mainly to destroy rear guards. So if you don't have rear guards, what is he going to do? Not use the effect, obviously. So this card is really useful. It combos with those soul charges to actually maintain your soul more. So Robert is a good great trade to put with this card. Pyomo actually already has a lot of soul. Even yeah. Without any soul charge. Yeah, but uh, if you want to play more consistent, Robert would be a good, good great trade to put. And Robert is still very good. Yeah. And Quantum Magician. Okay, this card. Counter Blast 1, put this unit. This card is also another interesting card. Counter Blast 1, put this unit into soul. If you have a Pale Moon Vanguard, select one Pale Moon in your soul, accept Quantum Magician, and place it to the Red Guard. And at the beginning of that turn, end phase of that turn, wow, so many turn. Uh, <laughs> place that card unit into your soul and select one Quantum Magician in your soul and place it into the Red Guard again. Okay. Uh, something to take note of. This is counter blast one, so actually it's very pain. But the problem is, this card can actually call out those cards that need to be called from soul at, to gain the skill. Like, uh, the card that I can think of is the you, you you know the girl and then flying the one the opposite one. Yeah, the her effect is like great one seven k when come out from soul it gains three k, and there's still the jumping jail from EBO one if I'm not wrong EBO one right. Yeah, then uh, it's a great two. <laughs> it's a great two eight k, if I'm not wrong, and I don't know eight k or nine k. I forgot already. I think eight k. Uh, if it come out, if it come out from soul, it gains extra three k. So this one is actually to combo with this those cards or purple trebuchets, and I'll be talking about that soon. So this card can play, but don't play too much. It's gonna be too um waste to play this. You know. Okay, this card it really. <laughs> It trust me a lot when I saw this. If you have 15 or more Dark Regular, oh here right, if you have 15 or more so typo, uh, Dark Regular in your soul, <laughs> this unit gets critical plus 2. Plus 2. <laughs> Let's just say, your Dark Irregular play 8 crit. <laughs> Can you imagine right, your opponent 2 damage right, can straight away lose, or even 1 damage if you double crit, can straight away lose. Cause, this card straight away have 3 damage already. You double crit, which means he have to take 5 damage. It It's really... <laughs> I don't know what to say actually, you know. I really don't know what to say. And to get 15 or more Dark Regular uh, in your soul for a Dark Regular deck, it's actually not that hard. Mm, Seriously, it's actually uh, not that hard. So Conductor, right? Yeah. Uh, still got the... Yeah, still that, that card is gonna be very oh, useful. Gosh. You just got Soul Charge 2. And there's, there's another card below this card that is gonna help this card a lot too. When this unit is placed on Vanguard, choose one of your Dark Regular Real Guard, search up to 3 cards from your deck of the same name as the chosen soul unit and put them to soul. Okay, this card is actually very 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 freaking useful, you know. This effect is very useful. Do you know there's a rare in this set, uh, which is Dark Regular also? Its effect is, for every of this unit in the soul, it gains power plus 2000. Can you imagine? You use this card, free cost, your dark regular, that real guard, that creature real guard, yeah, uh, straight away get, yeah, that's why, right, straight away get power plus 6000, eh. can you like imagine, seriously? Uh, it's at number 34, yeah. that they're looking for. So, I think later I'll show you guys, so it's really freaking awesome, this card is very awesome, but not a lot of people is going to play this cause they want to play the Limit Break Abyss, but in my opinion, this card can be played. I think you can play both. Um, yeah, you can play. You can actually play both by riding a beast first to counter blast two, soul charge two, counter blast mm. two, soul charge two to get your fifteen souls and mm. that extra damage for a beast in the from the start is very useful too. After that, you can ride this to get the extra two critical. Okay, emblem master counter blast one. When this unit attack hits the vanguard and you have a dark regular vanguard, you may pay the cost if you do soul charge three. Soul charge three. Do I need? Do I still need to tell you guys anything about this card? No need. Yeah, it's just awesome. Yellow boat. Okay, this card is really awesome. You know, when I look at this, right? When I look at this card in the anime, I was like, it's gonna be a rare. When I saw this card, it's it's a foil, and I was really shocked. 
because this card is fact is rest this unit if you have a dark regular vanguard soul charge one um this card is actually okay because uh every turn you can just rest and soul charge rest and soul charge that is why i can that is why i told you guys oh this deck right dark regular right you can have more than 15 souls don't even worry about not ha not reaching the requirement for this card you can reach until that soul okay and now we are we have reached into a gold parading card Bearer, uh, hero of truth yeah din Dindrin. 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 let's just call it didi yeah, didi yep and we have recorded quite long so yeah okay. <laughs> yeah don't care uh, so last <laughs> one when this unit is placed to rear guard from the deck if you have a gold paladin vanguard you may pay the cost if you do draw a card uh this effect is should be very common to use it should be very easy Yup. Then the soul blast one is also quite a small price to pay to draw a card. Yup. Not bad, not bad. 